Now, from the college to the pros, we bring in our professional, Michael Hurley. Hi, Mike. Now, there is plenty to talk about, right, when it comes to Boston sports teams. Let's start with the Red Sox. Um, they had an impressive road trip to start, but they were just swept by the Orioles at Fenway. They did not look good. No, and talk about a missed opportunity. You go out on the West Coast, you start 7-3, and three, and then you finally get to play in front of your home fans, many of whom haven't even seen you play because you've been playing at 10 o'clock and you just get an ultimate dud on opening day. You blow a 5 nothing lead on the second game, and then last night was just a mess. You have a, a shortstop missing the bag on what should have been an inning-ending inning double play. You give up a late, you, you tie it up, and then you give up a bunch of home runs and extra innings. It's just a really flat start to the home slate. They're, they're kind of looking a lot like last year and the year before, which uh, nobody around here wants to hear. Yeah, don't say that, but uh, let's, <laughs> Let's That's move, what it's looking like. Let's move on to the Patriots, right? The draft is less than two weeks away. We have a new head coach, too. What direction do they seem to be moving in? Yeah, I mean, no one's really letting it be known. Everyone's sort of trying to get the word, but it does feel like, based on what Gerard Mayo has said, based on what Robert Kraft has said, that they kind of have to go quarterback. It's just mm. such an important position. They're in this rare spot at number three where you don't have the luxury necessarily to, to not try to get a quarterback there. So it feels like that's where the organization is going with it. Now, whether that's Drake May, whether that's J.J. McCarthy, which we've been hearing a lot about lately, that's speculation and stuff. I would still think if Drake May is there at number three, that's who you can start to look forward to. I think the days of Belichick doing the things we never expected and mm. trading out and doing 16 different, I think they're going to go more generic with this one. What do you think um, the best pick would be in terms of Patriots fans being like, okay, we like that one? Any quarterback that provides some <laughs> life, you know, all due respect to Mac Jones, but the uh, the the decline over the past couple of years mm -hmm. was tough for them. So anyone, you know, Jaden Daniels, I think would be a lot of excitement. He's older, he's more experienced than Drake May, but I, I don't think he'll be there at number three. Okay, so it's exciting in Boston because we are heading into playoff season. Anything that we should be worried about when it comes to the Celtics and the Bruins at all? And the Celtics got blown out last night by the Knicks, so I'll look right in. The, no, the, the answer is no. Sports Talk Radio will break this down and say, this is what's wrong with them. They don't have heart. They don't have... Oh, God. This doesn't matter. These last two weeks of the regular season, really for the Celtics, you know, the Bruins still had some positioning to deal with, but not really. It just doesn't matter. And we learned last year with the Bruins, you could have the best regular season in the history of the sport. It won't matter come playoff time. So I think both teams have the experience and veteran... Uh, leadership to just sort of know that next week when it actually matters, they'll be ready. That's what makes Boston sports so oh, yeah. exciting too, especially as we head into playoff season. Oh yeah, panic. Panic in the streets <laughs> because they lost to the Knicks. But you like that. You it's like fun. The it keeps, yeah. yeah, it keeps you on your toes a little bit. I take back my answer. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I have appreciate it.